my name is Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp here in the UK and welcome to YouTube Tuesday. Today I thought we'd take a look at something new and that is our lovely groovy plates, this new parchment system that has set the world alight. Now last week you'll remember that I just introduced the starter kit to you and showed you basically how the Groovy Plate Mate works in conjunction with the two, um, the two plates and how you can pop the trees in and then overlay your parchment and engrave, literally get in the groove and, and um, emboss your line art into the parchment and get a beautiful, crisp, sharp image. And how you can then um, replace that plate with a new plate and then add other things to the background. So let me show you, for example, um, if we just recap very, very quickly, you'll see here, I, I did, let's look from the front, I did the tree from the first plate and I did the hills from the second plate and I put my dad in, which was from the letterbox kit on the groovy plate, mate. Uh, and just in case you're wondering what on earth I'm talking about when I say emboss line art, if I, for example, just take my... I'll take my anti-static or my, my tumble dryer sheet and rub this. It just helps the, the embossing tool glide in the groove better. You see the moons here. Now, if I wanted to add, for example, a moon or a sun to my picture, I can decide exactly where I want to place it, like so. Say I want to put it, where do you think, about there. I reckon that would be quite cool. Okay, remembering that that's the front. So if I want it there, I've got to, put it, I've got to add it here. See? So I'll just simply add it there and then I'll go round like so without going through the hill, otherwise that would look really weird. If I want to sharpen it, I can go back in with the real tiny pin and then when I turn around, look how sharp it is. And it's exactly the same as the rest of the line art that we created last week. If you're interested, go back to last week's YouTube Tuesday and um, we're just going to ramp it up a little bit today. You see, I believe that the Groovy Plate Mate is the key to this system and that's this big holder or the, the, the piece with the letters on it that keeps the plates in position. So I'm going to put my dad's card to one side and I'm going to now, I thought it'd be nice to introduce um, another couple of fabulous plates that we've got and, uh, and maybe add another skill. Let's, let's take a look at this. Now, here are two rather fantastic plates, brand new designs. We've got the butterfly with the wreath and then we've got our meadow grasses. Now, if you're wondering, on this side you can hear, this is the side which is etched. And the, the way to always know that is, if you can read groovy, then you know you've got the right side in place. So the first thing I want to do, because it's the same as stamping, really, in, in, in theory, whatever I want to put in the front of the picture, I have to do first. I want to put the butterfly in the centre. So what I'm going to do is take some parchment. This comes with a starter kit, by the way. It's 140 top quality GSM parchment, and it's very, very beautiful, and it works like a dream. So what I want to do is just add the parchment I don't think there's a right and a wrong side to parchment. Um, I'll just add that there so that it stays in place like so. Right, and then I'm going to add my, my butterfly. So again, I just want to rub my, um, my parchment with this uh, tumble dryer sheet. And then I'm going to get in the groove of my butterfly. I'm going to use a piece of paper to lean on and off we go. And you literally, let's use the fatter, the, 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 the broader one to begin with. You get in the groove and then you just gently, slowly start getting, on the, getting in the groove and following the tracks. Round you go, in you go. If you slide out like I just did, don't give it a second thought, it doesn't affect anything. If you get brave, you can go straight in with the tighter one. Look, if it gets a bit tight, like this is quite a detailed groovy plate, which is, just goes to show how good the quality is. There we go. So you just 
down we go like this and just uh, start embossing the lines. And if you want to see what it looks like and where you're going, this is the magic of this groovy plate mate because you can, at any time, you can flip the whole thing and check your progress. So for example, flip the whole thing and check your progress and you can see exactly that the line is fantastic. And the best part of it is, when I put this back in place, I'm in exactly the same place, of course I am, because I attached the artwork to the plate mate, not the, um, not the actual the plate. So let me just do this butterfly. Let's see if we can find some nice music. You see, one of the loveliest things about this, and in fact, we've developed a website specifically for the mindfulness uh, aspect of this, because it became very quickly, very clear to me that when you, when you embark on this groovy art with parchment, it's very, very therapeutic. And, um, you know, the whole mindfulness wave at the moment with colouring books, etc., which keeps us in the now and focused on the present and helps us stop dwelling on the past. I mean, so many of us craft for just that reason. Um, and we've actually developed a website called Thinking with Clarity. And, uh, and it's all about that therapeutic aspect of, uh, of crafting. And these groovy plates and the parchment art craft that we're developing here um, with our groovy plates is playing a very, very large role in that, in that mindful process. Um, so do check out the website. It's called thinkingwithclarity.com. Right, shall we have a look? There we are. So there's our butterfly all ready to go. You see, and because of the laser etching, you can't go through the parchment. Isn't it super? So let's carry on. And now I've done my butterfly, and now I'm gonna go back through, and I'm going to add the circle around the outside. So let me just grab the circle, obviously, this is easy. And again, if I want to sharpen it, then I'll go back in with the, the thinner embossing tool and that makes the edge really crisp. So let's take it out and have a look. Okay, we're building our picture. Now, I want to try, I've just missed a little tiny bit on his head. Let me just put that in. Okay, now I want to do something different because if you've got this groovy plate, mate, sorry, if you've got this surround, then you're also gonna still, from last week, remember I said, you've got the trees, we've got the hills. Let's take this one now. And I want to show you something, because I reckon this is gonna be spot on. If I take this one out, and I drop in the hills and trees, let's see what we've got. I reckon that will look quite good, you know. Yes, indeedy. So what I want to do now, and of course, you know that you can lift this up and you can put your heels wherever you like. But what I want to do is just create a little landscape inside here. So I want to go with this one here. Right, here we go. And I'm just going to use that line. And what I'm trying to show you is how interchangeable these plates are when you use them in conjunction with the... Um, I'm lost in it now, I suddenly went into my bubble, sorry. When you use them in conjunction with the groovy plate mate. Superb, isn't it? See, so I've got that now. Now let me just lift this off because that's going to be my hill in the background. But rather than make it just look like a few lines, let me just show you. If I, I'll drop that back in there again. And once again, I want to use that little moon. Here we are, look. I'm just going to use that little moon and then that will 
complete my little landscape within that circle. There we go. Should we check out what we've got? Let's have a look. Doesn't that look cool? And we haven't even tried any colour yet. Excellent. I think I'm missing a line over here. I can feel that there should be a line there. So I'm just going to go back in again. There he is. Look. See? And that then will make the whole thing a bit more logical. Check it out. Yeah, there you go. See, it comes through the back. All right, excellent. Now let's ramp it up a little bit. There are two things I want to do. First of all, I want to show you now last week when we did this, we used the letter boxes and I put my dad in and it, the letter boxes really make it easy um, to, to position letters. Now this time I want to use just the alphabet and I want to show you how you can also um, write, you can personalize things on a curve. My suggestion is that you always start in the middle. So let's say, for example, I want to write, I want to make a card for my daughter. Her name is Grace. Beautiful name. I love the word. And I'm going to start with A in the middle. And this is the thinking process now, but you'll get it immediately. So let's just take this. I'm going to leave this one in here only because I don't want to crunch the parchment when I'm leaning on it, you see. So this makes it flat. Right, so G-R-A, I'm going to begin with the A, and I'm going to put the A, just let me put that to one side for a minute, I'm going to put the A in the middle. So say I want to put her name across there, so I'm going to just add, I'm going to start with the A, and then I can go from there. So A is there, right, and I just want to see if that helps me a little bit. Okay, and I'm going to lean on there and make sure that's in the right place and then I'm just going to add my A and I'm using, that'll look lovely, you watch, and I'm going to use the sharper embossing tool because it's quite fine. I don't need to press too hard, note to self, and I'm just going to add A to begin with. Right, now let's get our head around this so we know where we're headed. A. So what I want it to say is grace. So as I turn this round now, I'm going to put the R here. So where's my R? So I'll pop my R into place, like so. There we are. There we are. Do you get it? Right, R. Round we go, slowly does it, gently, gently. Because we have to be able to read her name. So it's always a good idea to look what you're doing. Then I'm going to need a G here. And then once I've got the G in place, then I'll be off and running. So here we go. So we're going to put the G there. So it's a good idea to write it out and you're working your way backwards. It is, it literally is back to front. So you're working from right to left. So let's just pop G in, and then the rest will become logical. Right, turn it round. But you see how I'm just turning it round, and I'm working on the curve. Isn't it beautiful? So now we just need the C and the E. So I'll just find the C. See, it's very, very easy. Very, very easy. Uh, and you can personalise absolutely anything. Of course you can. You've got a whole alphabet here. And are the numbers coming out soon? Of course they are. So now we've got, we've got E missing and then we're done. How cool is this? There we are. So we're learning several things here. Right. There we go. Very sharp, very crisp, very clean, isn't it? Very clean art. There we go. So isn't that pretty? We've got the butterfly, we've got grace, we've got the moon, we've, we've used the, the, um, the mountains to create a line art in the background. And now, now let's see, because we've also got, there are two um, plates that come together, and I want to show you both of them. We've got the meadow grass, which is really funky, and then we've got, with the butterfly, we've got that lovely edging as well.
Now, I just want to just ramp it up a bit further as well. Let's take this one now. And if I wanted to, I could literally just pop this in like so and then go around the outside, you know, just emboss the wreath around the outside. But I can manipulate this. I can tighten it up just the way I did with Grace just now with the letters. I can do exactly the same thing with the flowers. So for example, I'll pop that in there. It's a good idea to always leave the plate in its mate and that way make the artwork come to you. Got a lot more control if you do that. And what I'm going to do now, because I want to, I want to bring this wreath, it's very, very beautiful, but I don't want it all the way round. I want to leave it open near the grace and also I want to just tighten it up a little bit as it comes round. What I'm trying to explain to you in my own inimitable way is that you don't have to copy exactly. You use the bits you want and you can manipulate it just by moving the parchment. So I'm going to start with this piece here. You see what you want to do when you're looking at a plate is you look at the piece and you look at your parchment and you, you make your composition and you build it up and you check and you build it up and you check. I mean I'm a novice at this. I am not a parchment expert but it's very very um, rewarding it's very rewarding and these these plates and mates they certainly make this initial phase the line art transfer very very delightful so let me just get the first one in place and then we'll listen to some nice relaxing music while I finish what I'm trying to achieve here so I've just decided you see I'm looking at the butterfly now and I've decided that I want to put my that's it. I want to put this piece here. That's, I'm happy with that. So I'm going to start by putting that piece in place like so. And then once my parchment's in place, I can ignore everything except that little piece that I want to use there. Okay. So piece of paper to lean on. The, not the thinnest one, I'm going to go with the thicker one just to play it safe and then round I go. You see, so what I'm doing is here, and just come back on in, I know the music's lovely, isn't it? But what I'm doing is I'm filling up this, rather than just going with what I've been given on the plate, I'm filling up the gaps and I'm creating my own wreath with all these beautiful little floral images. Um, it works so well. And, and this is really what makes your artwork an original because you see, when you look at the plate here, I, I've used a little bit from over here, a little bit from over here, a leaf from here, and I've created my own, my own wreath. So let's just take a look at that and see where we went with it. Nice, eh? Nice, I like it, you see? So rather than just use what was prescribed, I just, I wanted grace to stand out. So I, I just wanted to encase that little landscape. And once I've done that, of course, it goes without saying, we can color this in, we can emboss it from behind. You know what? That's for another time. I'm more interested in showing you how to create this fabulous line art and how to manipulate the, um, the groovy plates and how to use the mate. Let me just fast forward this one though, because I also obviously want to showcase this pair of fantastic groovy plates, the butterfly and the meadow dance, these two. Um, I, I, I did prepare this and what I did, because often if you're new to parchment, you'll like me, you'll say, well, that's all well and good, but then what do you do? Well, I had the same question. 
And so what I did was I invested in a punch and it's like a photo slot punch, look. And it gives you these bits. And it looks so nice, look, see? So I just trimmed this down. It's no different to that, it's just cut to size. And then I cut the two holes in the slot there. See, the thing about parchment is it's quite unforgiving. If you put glue on it or sellotape or tape, you can see straight through it, it looks ugly. So you have to either use brads or you can stitch it. I'm right in love with this big punch. I think we've got a few of those on the website. You ought to check it out. Anyway, so, so there's my answer. Um, and maybe down the road, I'll take this and I'll color it in. Most of the coloring in, from what I'm told, all takes place on the back. Um, those uh, Spectrum Noir pencils are fantastic for this, those oily pencils that I'm always bleating on about these ones. These are fantastic with this parchment. Now, um, now before I get excited about that though, what I want to do is just show you the, the other plate, because obviously you've got a butterfly, you've got meadow grasses. I got carried away and I just want to show you this particular design. So it looks good on black, let me show you. Uh, here, you see, I took the meadow dance, this meadow plate, and I just used pieces of it. So I used some, oh look, hang on a minute. Let me come back down here. Sorry, I got, I went way off there. Look, a piece, I took that one there. Then I used a bit of that piece there. So you see, so I took the butterfly and then I added these bits to the back. So I ended up with, with all this, really nice. And I want to show you something that's not so obvious, but it occurred to me. You know that big round piece that's by in the butterfly there? Let's slot that back in there. Now, wouldn't that make a super sun? Look, see that bit there? Because the butterfly's not touching it. I just want to state the not so obvious. If, for example, I was to put a piece of, let me just put this in place. I might bodge it right up now, but I think this should work really beautifully. Let me just take that down. See, again, we're using the groovy plate mate and the um, plate itself. And what I want to do is put a beautiful, great big sun in the background. So I'm going to see where the, see where the hill is, the mountain. I'm going to start here. I'm going to come all the way around got nothing to do with the butterfly. All I want is that beautiful orb. Then I'm going to sharpen it up with the other end just because I can. Now let's see if this worked. Maybe, maybe not. I love it. You see? See the great big moon in the background? So even though it's not, I haven't used it in the traditional sense like I did on Grace here, the circle. I've taken that circle and I've used it as a big sun set and there's the if you look at this you can see there's the water what I was talking about last time we got together that straight line for me denotes the water we've got the hills we've got the meadow grasses and now we've got a lovely sunset too so there we are you don't always have to accept exactly what's on the plate you can manipulate it this one's for grace this one's for you um, if you like this system, then you may want to treat yourself, www.claritystamp.co.uk. Uh, they're certainly available there. And, uh, and if you want to learn more about how they work, then do check out my blog, because I'm sure there'll be plenty of blogs about it, barbaragrayblog.blogspot.com. And, um, and other than that, if you enjoy my YouTubes, then why don't you subscribe? And uh, thanks very much for joining me and I shall see you next time. Bye-bye now.